Hey gang, Diana here today, and I'm getting ready for some card classes here in at my meetup here in the studio, and I figured I'd show a couple of cards to you, um, and in this video, oops, we're going to make this card. So let's get moving on that. I have already cut and scored my cardstock, regular A2 size, that's 8.5 by 11 cut to eight and a half by five and a half high. So let me just grab one of my card fronts and we're going to start with the stamping. And I've got the Joy stamp stuck onto my Misty here. I'm just going to move this up a little bit because I want to make sure, let me just make the placement. I'm going to make this at the eight mark so I want to make it um excuse my head almost going off of the card front but not quite I went ahead and re-inked my Delicata ink and it only took a couple of stamps to really give a nice juicy greeting. So um, I do recommend these, these inks are pretty expensive to begin with, but um, they do need to be re-inked, I've noticed. So, um, I think that's relatively dry now. The Delicata inks do dry quickly, even though they are pigment ink. And the next thing I'm going to use is this Tim Holtz Alteration Sizzix. It's a garland. I will link it below. It doesn't say what it is, but there is a product number that I will put below. So I am putting this into, I'm just sandwiching that back piece in there. Let's have a peek here. And yeah, I think the result, I like the result better of, of um, stamping first and then die cutting because it goes right through, the color stays on that joy. So, okay, next thing we're going to do is the stars. And I'm using any star set will do. Or you can cut this out on glimmery paper, sprinkly paper. These might not all match perfectly and I don't know if that bothers you it does not bother me at all I, I find it to be um, adds interest to the card and um, that's my feeling on it so let's go ahead and I will die cut some of these I'm actually going to use stick it and glitter dust the distress glimmer dust just so I can show you that technique so Stick It is a, a double-sided adhesive that will run through your die cut machine. And there's actually quite a few of these on the market. I just happen to have this. Um, so I'm just going to lay a piece down there and burnish it and trim it out. I have noticed it does kind of come when you're pulling that paper back, the protective piece, it does come off. So I'm not sure what the deal is on this, but I might I might not be. Usually when I find something doesn't work that has been highly recommended, it's user error. But I'll go ahead, let's go ahead and send these through the die cut machine and then get some glitter on it. Once again, don't forget you can just use glitter paper. I just love this glitter dust in the vintage platinum. And now for the fun glittery part. Okay, so I'm going to pull off this stick it and it should have um, transferred nicely the, the layer of adhesive. You might need Make sure you're pulling up the right side, by the way. <laughs> I was trying to get the wrong side up. Oh my God. Anyway, let me grab the other one. And um, I think it's this side. I dump it into a coffee filter lined bowl and I think it's the best, best way to go. 
And there you have it. I'm going to go ahead and push it down and burnish a little bit so that everything sticks and we're in good shape. I'm going to tell you guys that I feel like just making cards right now is um, a really good thing to do. We are in that season, the holiday season, when we really try to be thankful for those around us. And I think everybody's so stressed out. Uh, I don't know about the rest of the world, but here in the U.S., I think we're stressed out. So um, there's a lot of unease. And I think to be thankful for the people around you and concentrate. We have to read the news. We can't avoid it, and we shouldn't avoid it. We need to know what's going on. But um, to do small acts of kindness, I think, goes a long way in, a, in an atmosphere that we're living in right now. Let's see. What glue? Mono. Tombow Mono is probably one of my favorite glues. It reminds me very much, if you have matte medium, in your house, which I have lots of. This is just smaller for card making, I think, and for smaller jobs. Uh, but it's a really sticky, nice glue. So there we go. That's done. And the last thing I'm going to do for this card, and I really feel like this card is really effective. Uh, stickles is the last thing I'm going to do. Uh, look at my hands. They're glittery and gold. What, what could be better, really? <laughs> so all of these things will go into a uh, into sleeves. The kits will be separate. If you want to do a card party at your house, you could... Um, I'm going to put some more information on it on my blog. Just think, if you know card makers... Uh, they would enjoy it. Kids, how could kids do this card? They can write joy. I'll tell you, I don't think there's anything more charming than a child's handwriting wishing you joy at the holiday season. So I'm just, this is a pretty simple card. And I'm trying to keep them simple for this party. So you could add a little bit more. You might want to add some. Maybe it could use even a smaller star here. I'm looking at that thinking that might be really nice. So I might do that. So here's the kit that everyone will, will have available. What I have in here is the card just attached with a binder clip. And I think I got these a whole bunch of these at Target at the dollar spot. But any kind of little box or anything like that will do. I put in cut card and folded cardstock. I might go ahead and do the embossing. Uh, the stamp pad or the 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 stamp that I'm using, the Delicata ink, the stickles, and some washi tape. And what I wound up doing, that was way too fussy with the um, stick it and the distress glitter. So I will have that available if people want it, but I did go ahead and cut out a whole bunch of stars. So you say, oh, I want to make this. You take the box and you go, everything's here. Uh, to put this card together quickly and easily. That's the card for today. I think uh, I'll be back with some more cards from uh, cards that I'm making for this meetup. And um, I'll see you soon.